Hi, welcome back to another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. I am back with the LWPX 400 and I wanted to show you how easy it is to use the Epson iLabel app to make your first label. So I've got my phone here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the Epson iLabel app pulled up. So once you pull it up, I just go ahead and launch the app. I've already downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the app. And it's gonna bring you to this new screen, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the printer on now this printer, as I mentioned before, it connects via Bluetooth. So you wanna make sure that your Bluetooth is on and that you are connected to the, um, the LWPX400. So I'm gonna do that. It's in my printer here. I'm just gonna click, click on it and done. Okay, so now typically what I find is you do need to turn it on in your Bluetooth and connect to it there. But once you launch the app, you'll see that it has a little X and it's not showing that it's connected. So you're just gonna hit the little gear cog and you just do it here as well. And typically just tapping on it is all I need to do. So I'm gonna just tap on the 400. It thinks for a minute and then it gives you the green check. Okay, so good. I'm good and connected. So now we can go ahead and, um, and create our first label. So there's a whole bunch of different options here if you wanna do barcodes or um, you know multiple different labels. We have a whole catalog of labels that are already created, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make a simple label for this. So I'm gonna hit new label and it's gonna bring you right to the edit screen. So I can go ahead and just type in what I want on my label. I'm gonna go ahead and make it caps. All right, great. So now when you're done typing, I'm just gonna hit done up on the top. Now you can see your label. So now if I wanted to just leave it as it is, I can go ahead and just hit print. But if I want, I can click on this little A here and this is gonna allow me to change the font. Now this will display any fonts that you have on your phone. So that'll kind of vary depending on your particular phone or if you have Apple or Android or whatever it is. But all the fonts that you have installed on your phone will be available here. So I like that there's some cool fonts in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. Great. Now you can see you can also change the sizing here on the font. It is gonna be a default to be an auto size, just making it as big as it can. But if you want to adjust it up or down, you can do that. So when I'm done, I will hit done. And now it's gone and put that on my label. It's displaying that here. So the next thing I wanna show you is that it's really easy um, to add extra stuff to the label. So when you're on this screen, what you can do is you can actually swipe from left to right and it'll give you um, an additional screen where you can have other options. So this is where you can add barcodes or QR codes. You can import something. So if you had a picture or logo on your phone that you wanted to import, you can do that. Um, you can even use um, handwriting if you want to you know, type with your finger on there, frames, symbols, things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a symbol on here. And once you hit the symbol button, there's a whole bunch of different categories. So again, you can swipe either way to go ahead and get to the different categories in there. All right, so there's lots of different options here. I was trying to find something cool. I'm gonna go with a star here. All right, great. So now I've got my label created. Again, once you have an image on there, you can swipe from left to right and get some options as where you wanna put that image on your label. So if you wanna adjust that, you can. Otherwise, if you're ready to print, you can go ahead and just print down in the middle of the screen is your um, kind of bluish green uh, print button. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. You can see that it's thinking for a minute and then it's gonna go ahead and print my label. Here we go, easy peasy. Now I actually had my copies set up too, so it's gonna print me two of these, but look at that, easy peasy. You just made your first label. If you have any questions about the app or the PX400, please feel free to reach out to me. I would be happy to help answer any of your questions. Happy labeling and check back for more.